Good evening and welcome to the June 17, 2020 legislative session of the Penfield Town Board. And I'll officially call the meeting to order. Uh, in the auditorium this evening is uh, our town clerk, Amy Steckloff, Councilman Andy Moore, uh, and our Development Services Director, Jim Costello. And I'll ask that uh, the four of us uh, please lead everyone in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, stands one, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I'll ask our clerk to please call the roll. Draw. Here. Cole. Here. LaFountain. Here. Moore. Here. Ockaden. Here. Okay, before we start into our agenda, uh, let me read our official notice. Uh, due to COVID-19 virus and the closing of town operations consistent with the governor's executive orders, the June 17, 2020 Town Board Legislative Meeting is being held remotely via Zoom. This meeting will also be video recorded and broadcast live via the town's website at uh, penfield.org. On the town's government access channel, 1303, and on streaming media device, Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. Uh, if you search Penfield TV in your device's app store, it is a free app. This, this meeting will be later transcribed. Questions regarding video coverage, please direct to Penfield TV at 340-8661. If you would like to address the board on any matter, uh, there are two public participation opportunities, one at the beginning of the agenda and one at the end of the agenda. And you may participate by phone uh, by dialing in at 340-8771 or by electronic submission at penfield.org or via Twitter at Town of Penfield. Uh, so with that, uh, this evening we will start off uh, with a public hearing and um, I will pause uh, for a moment. Uh, we will bring the applicant in uh, via Zoom and uh, we will, uh, I'll, at this time I'll ask our clerk to please read the legal. To consider a conditional use permit to allow an aesthetic shop at 1738 Penfield Road, located in the Four Corners Zoning District. The notice was published in the Penfield Post on June 4th, uh, 2020, posted on the town's website and the town clerk's bulletin board. Seven postcards were mailed. Thank you very much. And uh, I'll ask uh, Mr. Horowitz if uh, he's on the line. Uh, Mr. Horowitz, is this properly before the town board? He does not appear to be uh, on the line with us. Uh, okay. Maybe. All right. I will uh, I'll enter into the record that uh, I did have a conversation uh, with Mr. Horowitz today about uh, our entire agenda. And uh, one of the things I did ask him is if uh, this had been properly uh, presented before the board. And uh, he indicated that it uh, has been. So I'll enter that into the record. I will then uh, now ask if uh, Taylor uh, Bernunzio, uh, who is the applicant, if uh, she can uh, join us uh, as part of this hearing. There she is. Hi. Hi, Taylor. How are you and welcome? I'm good. How are you? Very good. Thank you very much. So, Taylor, uh, we will uh, uh, start uh, with, the, uh, with the public hearing. So thank you for being with us this evening. Mr. Costello has provided all the materials that you submitted. To, so thank you very much uh, for that. So we do have that in front of us. We would like to give you an opportunity to talk a little bit about your business and what your proposal is. And uh, so if you could uh, talk about uh, a number of employees that you might have, if, if any, uh, amount of parking, uh, hours of operation, any signage, uh, those types of things. And again, uh, we do have your package, but uh, it, it is good uh, to be part of the record. And uh, with that, uh, you have the floor. Okay. Um, well, I'm a licensed esthetician. I have been for 10 years now, and I started in 2015 at 1738 Penfield Road, um, where my husband and I used to live. 
and it was split commercial residential. Um, and now our work, we turned the home into a full salon because we moved and I want to work out outside of the garage and be separate from the full salon. Okay. Um, also, uh, my hours are different because of COVID and daycare. So right now I plan to work Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and that's when daycare is going to take my son right now for me. So I'm going to, I plan to work 8 to 6.30, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay. And then at uh, some point, um, as things get back to a new normal, uh, those hours may uh, change to include additional days? Yes. Okay. So Taylor, if you wouldn't mind, uh, if you'd describe uh, the, the, the garage, the building that uh, you're gonna be going into, uh, the board understands based on the material that you submitted, you're looking to put an addition on, and if uh, you could uh, just describe uh, that for the board. So my husband had a business there years ago, so the, the structure is already in amazing condition but I eventually do want to hire one person, so I want to add on a room for the other person to work out of. So it would just be a 12 by 12 room added on the side. And that's a one story, that's a one story addition that you'd be putting on? Yeah. Okay, and uh, it uh, will it meet all of the setbacks uh, that are required for uh, any building in this district? Um, it, it would have to be 20 feet from the side property line, is what he's asking. So, we'll so Mr. Costello, uh, Mr. Costello, is uh, Jim. If you would repeat that uh, for everyone. Yeah, the district requires a side setback of 20 feet from the property line, and I'm assuming that you can meet that with little problem, if any. The side. Yeah, the side setback. Oh well, the sign has already been approved yeah. uh, because I started there in 2015, right? So no. we're going to back. So we're going to back up just a, a moment, if we uh, could, uh, Taylor. The uh, the okay. question the question on the table is with regards to the setback of the building, and Mr. Costello had indicated that uh, the the setbacks uh, that you're where the where the building addition is going uh, to be does in fact okay. meet the setback of the district. Oh, sorry, yeah. Nope, not a problem, not a problem. So uh, we know it's one story, we know it meets the setback, and then within that, uh, within that building, uh, what, what would you have by way of utilities, uh, things like that? There was already plumbing in there, so I don't need to do anything except, I think, I don't know, there's electrical in there too. The guy said it didn't, it, doesn't need much, just the room. I don't think he has to add any electrical. Okay. So obviously if any electrical is added, uh, that would require an inspection uh, from the electrical inspectors just to make sure it's uh, safe and things like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now that uh, now that we, you started to talk a little bit about signage, uh, could you continue on with your comment about uh, signage? Yeah, so my sign was previously approved, and now that there's a salon there, I think Jim might have the picture. It's going to be the exact same um, size. We're just reprinting it and putting both our business, yeah, both our businesses on there. So we're not changing the structure at all. Not changing the structure or the size, it's just the uh, adding both businesses. Mm -hmm. And the board, uh, you can see that, uh, that information that uh, Jim has up on the screen? Okay. All right, uh, board, uh, questions uh, for Taylor. So Taylor, you, you only expect um, one to two people at a time to come in if you have, if you would be You'd have a customer, and potentially one other person would have a customer. Yeah, so, one just one at a time. Yeah. So you have like four parking spots that'll be dedicated to your part of the 
There it is. Yeah. yeah. We did expand the, there is enough for, I think, 25 parking spots. Wow. That's a lot. Yeah. 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 And then the neighbors, are your next door neighbor? We talked to They're those. great. Yeah, they're great. Yeah. We did not receive any comment from any of the neighbors or anybody else for that matter regarding this application. Okay, thank you, Jim. So Taylor, I apologize. Uh, if you come to my house, uh, there's nothing but women at my house with my wife, daughters, and granddaughters. So I should probably know this, the answer to this next question, but I'm gonna probably embarrass myself and ask, uh, how long, uh, if I come in uh, as one of your clients, how long uh, is the, uh, the time or procedure that- The appointments? Uh, yes. So it kind of depends. So I do, um, I do waxing and I do, um, microblading, which is permanent makeup. So I do the, like, tattoo eyebrows. So if someone comes in for microblading, it's usually an hour and a half to two hours, and waxing, it's a 15-minute appointment each person, okay. depending, it's usually, but sometimes they get multiple services. Got it, thank you, I appreciate mm -hmm. that. Board, other questions uh, for Taylor? Would, would you have any other kind of directional sign to make people know that you're in the back now, or? Um, they'll know because the window there's there's already a storefront window from my when my husband had it, and we're putting in a huge sign there that'll be kind of like two way. You can see through it, but not out it. That will be to the interior of the building, Taylor, or to the outside. On um, the outside. Okay, so you'll need a sign permit for that as well. Oh, okay, even if it's just a sticker on the window? Yep, if it's outside, you need okay. one. If it's inside, you don't. So if you can put it on okay. the inside of the, bill, the window, you won't need one. Okay, well, okay, sounds good. Yeah, something something to think about and have further conversations with Mr. Costello. Uh, the way the ordinance okay. reads, the way the ordinance reads is that if it's uh, on the inside of the window, uh, that does not require a permit. If it's on the outside, uh, it does. And the thing you want to be sensitive to is the fact that um, if you have more signage than is permitted by the code, uh, then uh, that might uh, uh, necessitate a discussion with the Zoning Board of Appeals. So just something to think about and I would encourage you to have some further conversations with Mr. Costello. Okay. All right. Board, other, uh, other questions uh, for Taylor? No. Taylor, just to confirm, you said it has plumbing, the garage area, so you'll have your own bathroom for, for your customers yeah. and all that. Yeah. Um, yeah. The salon portion, I think I saw some information earlier, that's, that's open, that's... Running. They open on. They open Monday. And when? When would you? What would be your goal if approved? When to be up and running? Well, I could be up and running soon. I mean, I've already painted and decorated and stuff. I could be up running soon. I think my son can go back to daycare as soon as I think phase four. But they might work with me to because I'm phase three, but I haven't started yet. Um, so, but he can't start, my contractor can't start the addition until mid-July to end of July. So you, you'd plan to be open without the addition? Yeah, yeah. definitely, because I don't have someone to start yet. It's just my future plan to have gotcha. someone help me out. All right, and how about the parking? What, what would be the time frame on the expansion for that? They're supposed to, since the salon opened, they're supposed to um, put rocks down this week, as far as I know. Okay, thank you. But they're working, they're staggered because of COVID, so their two girls are working Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and the other two are working Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So it hasn't been an issue yet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But do I have to do anything when I do, if I do find someone to work there with me? No, the answer is uh, you're asking the board to give you the ability to have a second person on site as part of this permit. 
it will run with okay. the permit. If you ask okay. for more people than that in the future, the board may want to look at it just to look and see how it relates to the parking issue and how it inter okay. interacts with the uh, salon next door. Okay. The one thing I do want to talk to you about, though, is with the respect to the additional parking area, you do need to have uh, our engineering staff look at that with you prior to starting that, just to make oh, sure okay. that they're comfortable with the, the drainage and grading of all that business that's going to be involved in the new asphalt area or the stone area. Okay. So you should contact me and let me know uh, when they're planning on going out there, because we're going to want to meet with them prior to that just to make sure everything's properly done. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, uh, Mr. Costello. So uh, just to summarize uh, for all of us uh, this evening, not on, only are we looking at, uh, you know, uh, an application to approve this business at that location, uh, also to put an addition onto the uh, to the building, and then uh, future plans to add uh, one potential uh, additional employer or additional person at that location. So, uh, as uh, as you move forward, uh, as long as you uh, would stay within those parameters, you would not have to come back to the board. If you uh, were to add other employees or you were to add additional space uh, or additions, uh, you'd have to come back for that. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So, board, um, uh, one last opportunity. Uh, any uh, further questions uh, for Taylor at this point? Uh, so uh, we'll uh, wait for a moment to see. I, I don't see anything on my screen for anyone calling in uh, for uh, this particular application. Uh, but I will, while we're waiting a moment, I'll ask Mr. Costello. Mr. Costello, is there anything that you would like to add to the record that hasn't been already added to the record by way of submission and discussion this evening? No, Mr. Supervisor. I, I will commend her, though. Uh, she's got her applications for her building permit for remodeling and everything already prepared, anticipating that the board may approve this. So she's done her homework, and it's just a matter of getting everything in place. Okay, very good. And uh, Taylor, um, is there anything that you would like to add uh, by way of information for this application that uh, either uh, a question, uh, a comment, or additional information that we haven't already heard? No, thank you. Okay. I'll let the record show that uh, we have not uh, received any call-ins uh, on this. So uh, let me take a moment before I close the hearing to talk about next steps. The next opportunity for the board to discuss this matter will be next Wednesday, uh, Wednesday the 24th. Uh, we'll do that again via Zoom. Uh, Taylor, you're welcome to join us. If uh, by chance you cannot, I would ask you the next uh, business day uh, on the 25th to reach out to Mr. Costello and he can update you as to any actions that the board did take. Okay. All righty. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank seeing you. no, seeing no further, no further discussion on this particular matter, I'll declare uh, this public hearing closed. And uh, uh, Taylor, we wish you uh, a good evening and uh, stay tuned and stay connected with Mr. Costello. All right. Thanks so All right. much. All right. Be well. Good night. Thank All you. Right. Bye. Okay, we will uh, move on to uh, communications and announcements, and uh, I'll first uh, recognize the town clerk if uh, she has any communications uh, or announcements this evening. Just a reminder that next Tuesday, June 23rd, will be our primary election from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, make sure that you know where you are going. There are only three sites open, the town hall, the community center, and the Holy Spirit Church. So uh, if you have any questions, please contact me at 340-8629, or you can call the Board of Elections. Thank you. All right, thank you. I'll uh, next uh, go to Councilwoman Drop. Uh, any uh, communications this evening? No announcements, Mr. Supervisor. All right, thank you. Uh, Councilman Ockenden. No, Mr. Supervisor, no announcements. All right, thank you. I'll recognize uh, Councilman Moore for any communications. All set, Mr. Supervisor. All right, uh, last but not least, and I know that uh, she has at least uh, one announcement for this evening, uh, Councilwoman Cole. Yes, I have something I'd like to read to the community. This is pretty exciting, I think. And um, I want to remind everyone that the Independence Day Parade, as well as our usual entertainment and food at Harris Whalen Park, 
and the fireworks will not take place. But there's something else that will take place. We want to encourage all residents to be part of a new event that respects social distancing, yet keeps the patriotic spirit alive, Penfield's Patriotism on Parade. Join your friends and neighbors for a little friendly competition. Residents are invited to dress up their home in a patriotic vest. Get creative. We encourage you to use recycled or upcycled materials in your display and choose a patriotic theme such as honoring American's heroes or a unique patriotic theme of your choice. All entries must be non-political, non-discriminatory, and appropriate for all ages. If you would like to participate in this competition, send your house number and street name to srenner at penfield.org and we will add your house to a list of houses that the public can drive by and take in some patriotic spirit. The public then can vote on their favorite display on the website beginning on Friday, July 3rd and ending at midnight on Sunday, July 5th. All displays should be ready for voting beginning on Friday, July 5th. A voting link will be available on our website, www.penfield.org and Penfield, www.penfieldrec.org in the quick links section beginning on July 3rd. So it's something fun and it's being advertised really well on Facebook by our Penfield Recreation Department and I hope people will participate. Okay, thank you. Um, we'll, uh, we'll move on. This is the first opportunity for public participation. Uh, you can do that one of uh, three ways. Uh, you can call in 340-8771. You can log on at penfield.org or uh, at Town of Penfield uh, for Twitter. And while we pause for a moment to see if we have anyone uh, that uh, would like to call in to discuss any matter, I'll just remind everyone that uh, currently all operations uh, across the town hall are open and have been open. Uh, you do need an appointment to uh, come in uh, to meet with any of the departments. Um, and so I would encourage uh, if anyone has a need for any business to, to do that, to reach out to, to the department. Uh, um, we'll ask everyone that comes in to be masked, and uh, we'll continue that at least through uh, the 26th of June. Uh, next week, uh, we'll evaluate, depending upon where the region is, uh, by way of opening. Uh, we'll work with the control room uh, for this region, uh, Finger Lakes region, and uh, we'll keep everything updated uh, on our website and uh, also via uh, the supervisor's update as well. So seeing no one uh, calling in to address the board on any matter, uh, we'll continue on uh, with our agenda. Uh, I'll ask the board, are there any additions or deletions to the agenda this evening? Seeing none, um, we do have the minutes of May 20th before us, 2020, and uh, would entertain a motion of approval for those minutes. I move that the minutes of May 20th be approved. I'll second that. It's been moved by Councilwoman Cole and seconded by Councilwoman Draw. Thank you very much. Um, I'll ask uh, board, uh, are there any uh, comments, discussions uh, regarding those minutes? Seeing none, I'll ask our clerk to please call the roll for approval of the minutes of May 20th. Draw. Yay. Cole. Aye. LaFountain. Aye. Moore. Aye. Ockadin. Aye. Bye byes. Thank you very much. Since our last meeting, uh, has the town board, uh, the town attorney, or the town clerk received uh, any petitions? Mr. Supervisor, I would like to formally report for the record that I have received a petition. This petition is labeled Permit Backyard Chickens in the Town of Penfield, New York. Uh, copies of this petition were also provided for each of the town board members, as well as the supervisor and the town clerk. This petition was organized by Dr. Kevin Ike, Vince Saeva, Sarah Crandall. These residents represent and lead an online community of Penfield residents who are passionate about seeing a change to the current customary agricultural regulations portion of the town code, more specifically as it relates to the allowance of backyard chickens. The page they represent can be found on Facebook at Backyard Chickens in Penfield, New York. And uh, thank you, Mr. Supervisor, for updating me just the other day. Uh, pleased to hear that the matter is uh, still with staff and uh, Attorney Horowitz. 
uh, and is being reviewed, and I look forward to reviewing their comments and suggestions in the very near future. All right. Thank you, uh, Councilman Ockenden. Uh, I would ask that, um, you know, sometime over the next uh, handful of days, if uh, you wouldn't mind uh, getting that uh, petition up, uh, we'll make sure that it's on file in the town clerk's office, and uh, we'll make sure that uh, all parties uh, receive a copy of that petition. Absolutely. Great, thank you very much. Uh, other petitions? Okay, seeing none, we'll move on to resolution by function. We'll start with law and finance. Budget amendments for the purchase and installation <coughs> of an inclusive playground. Moved. Second. Whereas the Director of Public Works intends to purchase and have installed an inclusive playground at Rothfuss Park via U.S. Communities and Source Well Cooperative purchasing contracts totaling $136,200. Whereas the Town of Penfield was awarded a state and municipal facilities grant through Assemblyman Mark Johns towards the construction of said playground in the amount of $50,000. Whereas the Penfield Rotary donated $5,000 towards this inclusive playground project. Whereas the 2020 budget includes an appropriation of $60,000 for playground equipment. Be it resolved that this project is the development of the town parkland for recreational purposes. The board hereby authorizes the appropriation of $25,000 from the town's recreation trust special revenue fund towards equipment and site preparation. Be it further resolved that the following 2020 budget amendment is hereby approved. From revenue, New York State grants, amount 50,000, appropriation of Parks Playground Project 50,000. Donations of 5,000 from the Penfield Rotary, I'm sorry, revenue of $5,000 for donation and the appropriation of Park Playground Project for $5,000 and the inner fund transfer in the amount of $25,000. Thank you. Thank you. I'll ask uh, any discussion on this uh, matter. I'll just uh, add uh, that uh, we're delighted uh, to be able to move forward with this. This has been in the planning process now for about uh, two years. Uh, we're gonna be replacing uh, some uh, older equipment at Rafis Park uh, to include uh, this inclusive playground. And uh, I'm just uh, absolutely delighted that we're able to, uh, to do that and uh, to provide this equipment uh, for those uh, that uh, may need um, and, and have some challenges uh, that uh, they'll be able to partake participate and play on this uh, equipment. So uh, we're looking to start uh, this uh, here relatively soon. So um, if uh, we pass this resolution this evening, uh, as early as July, you can start to see the activity taking place uh, at Rafa's Park. So uh, seeing no further questions or comments at this point, I'll ask for a roll call vote, please. Draw. Aye. Cole. Aye. The Fountain. Aye. Moore? Aye. Akadin? Aye. Five ayes. Authorize the supervisor to sign an intermunicipal agreement with Monroe County for the purchase of fuel. Moved. Second. Whereas the Monroe County Sheriff's Office would like to continue obtaining fuel from the town's Department of Public Works facility, whereas the town will be reimbursed monthly for this fuel and administrative fee. Be it resolved that the town supervisor is hereby authorized to sign this intermunicipal agreement with the Monroe County Sheriff's Office for a term of September 1st, 2020 through August 31st, 2021. There also are renewal options an additional term up to three one-year periods upon review and approval by the Penfield Town Attorney. Thank you. Thank you. Discussion? Seeing no further discussion, a roll call vote, please. Draw. Aye. Cole. Aye. LaFountain. Aye. Moore. Aye. Akadin. Aye. Five ayes. Setting a public hearing to consider subdivision of property at 2105 Five Mile Line Road. Moved. 
Second. Whereas an application has been received by the Penfield Town Board pursuant to Chapter 250-5.10-B3 of the code for a subdivision of the property at 2105 Five Mile Line Road in the Four Corners Zoning District, be it resolved that the Town Board I'm sorry, be it resolved that the subject application is determined to be an unlisted action pursuant to Seeker, and further resolved that the town board of the town of Penfield shall hold a public hearing at the Penfield Town Hall on July 15, 2020, at 7 p.m., on said date to consider said application and to hear all persons interested in the subdivision of this property at 2105 Five Mile Line Road in the Four Corners Zoning District. Thank you. Thank you. Discussion. Seeing, seeing no further discussion, I'd ask for a roll call vote, please. Draw. Aye. Cole. Aye. The Fountain. Aye. Moore. Aye. Akadin. Aye. Five ayes. Setting a public hearing to consider adoption of local law, law number three of 2020 entitled Wireless Communications Facilities. Moved. Second. Whereas the Town Board of the Town of Penfield wishes to consider adopting a proposed local law number three of 2020 entire, entitled Wireless Communications Facilities. Whereas the Town Whereas the purpose of this local law is to provide for an amendment to chapter 250 of the town code providing for definitions, establishing certain general specific standards relating to location, placement, construction, and maintenance of tower-based wireless communication facilities, non-tower wireless communication facilities, and small wireless communication facilities, providing for the enforcement of said regulation and providing for an effective date, whereas subject, the subject action is determined to be an unlisted action pursuant to Seeker. Now therefore be it resolved that the town board of the town of Penfield will hold a public hearing at the Penfield Town Hall on July 15, 2020 at 7 p.m. on said date to consider the proposed proposal and to hear all persons interested in the question of adopting this local law number three entitled Wireless Communication Facility. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Moore. I'll ask uh, further discussions on this uh, particular resolution. Seeing none, I'll ask for a roll call vote. Draw. Aye. Cole. Aye. LaFountain. Aye. Moore. Aye. Akadin. Aye. Five ayes. Authorization for release of a storm water inspection easement at 1467 Empire Boulevard. Moved. Second. Be resolved that the Town Board of the Town of Penfield hereby authorizes the supervisor to sign a release of easement to permit release of an existing stormwater inspection easement at 1467 Empire Boulevard. Said easement was recorded in the Monroe County Clerk's Office, Library D12185, page 0149, in May 20th, 2019 as condition of the site plan approval for construction of the Laurelton Animal Hospital on site. Be it further resolved that the release of easement shall be in the town's format and shall be recorded in the Monroe County Clerk's Office with a certified copy of this resolution. Thank you. Thank you. Further discussion on this? Uh, we did discuss this at our last uh, work session uh, to vet that out and uh, go through any questions and comments to staff. Uh, I see no further questions or comments uh, for uh, staff. Uh, I'll ask for a roll call vote of this resolution. Draw. Aye. Cole. Aye. LaFountain. Aye. Moore. Aye. Akadin. Aye. Five ayes. Authorization for supervisor to sign recreation contracts. So moved. Second. This resolution authorizes the town supervisor to sign five recreation contracts, and they're all dealing with summer program. Great. Okay, thank you. Further discussion by the board? Seeing no further discussion, I'll ask for a roll call vote of this resolution. Draw? Aye. Call? Aye. LaFountain? Aye. Moore? Aye. Akadin? Aye. Five ayes. Okay, this uh, brings us uh, next on our agenda to old business. Is there any old business to come before the board this evening? Seeing none, is there any new business uh, to come before the board this evening? 
Again, seeing none, this is our second opportunity for public participation. Again, uh, you can call in at 340-8771. You can log in at penfield.org uh, or at Town of Penfield on Twitter. And I'm gonna wait uh, for just a moment uh, to see if we have anyone that does uh, call in. Uh, while we're doing that, um, I'll just uh, indicate that um, I did uh, have a, a, a short text message um, from uh, Eric Tate, our Director of Public Works. Uh, he informed me that uh, with the passage of the resolution for the inclusive playground, uh, they placed the order uh, tomorrow. Uh, they will have that uh, on site uh, by the first week in July, and uh, they'll be able to start uh, work uh, on that uh, shortly after that. Uh, so that's some great. Uh, so that's some great news uh, overall. Okay, seeing no calls uh, coming in, and uh, seeing no further business to come before uh, the town board this evening, the June 17, 2020 legislative session of the town board uh, stands adjourned at 7:37 p.m. I'd like to thank you, for, thank everyone that uh, participated this evening, and uh, hope that everyone continues to be well and safe. And uh, thank you to our friends at uh, PCTV that makes all of this tech technology works so well. Uh, have a great evening, have a great rest of your week. You too, Mr. Super.